So we're going to talk a little bit about jointing today. Generally, there's about there's a few ways of jointing, but uh, but some of the most common ones are thread jointing, plastic jointing, fiberboard disc jointing, which you could use with a cotter pin. You could also use that with a lock nut, nut, nut and bolt type system. Uh, my favorite way to joint is using the cotter pins and the fiber bid, fiberboard disc joints. So if you've ordered a joint set from me from SewTreasure.com, it would probably look something like this. And that's to make a Matilda the Bunny, Lucky the Elephant, or Kitty the Cat. It comes with fiberboard discs and some cotter pins. Sometimes little craft stores or um, doll supply places will sell these hardboard um, discs with large cotter pins and washers. You don't have to use washers, it's an option, but you can if you'd like to. And these plastic joints, they also can be sold at um, craft stores, doll supply stores, and they basically work like this. And then that's the locking joint. Okay? So, let's start. Here, for example, is a bunny head, a large bunny head. It's been stuffed because I'm going to add the glass eyes after. If you wanted to add plastic eyes, you would have to insert those before you stuff the head. But since I'm going to go ahead and add glass eyes after, I've stuffed it quite firmly so that when this joint goes in here and I press down, this shaft will still be sticking out. Okay? Alternatively, you could joint it like this and put it in. If you would wanted to use the washers, the washers goes the washer goes first, then the disc, and then in. So how we secure that in is we take some upholstery thread or any thread that when you pull on it, it does not break. You cannot break it. And I've doubled it. I've made a knot on the end, and I simply go in to the head area the, where the neck is. I do a little back stitch here a little loop to lock it in place and then I just do a little running stitch around the bottom of the neck edge like this. Really simple. So once you go all the way around you can pull this tight and gather it around your neck joint. Easy peasy. So here we go. We're going around just a little about a quarter inch in from the bottom of that neck edge. I'm almost to the where I started like this so once you've gotten back there you take whichever joint you want to use and I think with this one I'm going to show you how to do a plastic joint so you put this in here right in the middle like that now watch this you pull this and this will be right center it pull this so it goes nice and tight. Keep holding it. If you haven't put enough stuffing in, this will sink way down. So you just add a little more stuffing. Okay, you want it sticking out like that. Okay, then I hold it as tight as I can. I stuff this one very tightly. You take a few more stitches to secure this so it stays gathered. I just go round and round a few times like this. Try and make it nice and flat, nice and secure. A few more stitches, like that. See what I'm doing there? It's starting to hold by itself now. Well, it's just, I tend to go around and around a lot of times. I want that head to stay on there nice and tight, not pop off for years of dolly play. These are considered, you know, heirloom toys because they're jointed like the old-fashioned teddy bears. But I find them really fun. Fun. They're like dolls to play with and, and dress. All right. So there we go. We can see that's nice and secure, nice and flat. So I'm going to go ahead and make a knot by just making a little loop coming up through the center of my loop like that. Then I'll take another one to double knot it on, whichever way you like to make your knots. 
right? Come up through that. And then I just hide my thread and trim it close to the backing. There we go. Now let's say we want to joint this on to the body. We take our body piece and remember that little trick where we marked with a pen these joint holes so we can see them easily later, right? Including the neck joint, right here and here. And then in the neck joint, we make that nice and wide, nice and wide. And that is where this is going to go in. But before I do that, I always punch my arm and my leg joint holes. And when we're doing that part, we hold this completely flat and we hold our all exactly perpendicular to go through both sides. So both arm joints at the same time, arm joint holes. Ready? Wow, this one is really firm. I don't think I've seen one quite that firm. You can go from the other side. This one has a very, very tight backing. There we go. Wow. There's one hole and you can see it's the same on both sides. You can go through. That will make sure your arm joints are nice and even. And then I might even draw on the other side just to remind me where that hole is should the fibers kind of close up. Make it nice and big. Maybe if you have a slightly wider awl that would be a little bit easier. Same thing for the leg joints. We're taking our awl we're going straight in, straight through both, both layers evenly, like that. Go from the back again, make sure they're in the same spot. Nice and big, that hole. There we go. So we've marked those joint holes. Nice little circle around it. Now we're ready to turn it inside out, or right side out, sorry. The furry side out. And so here's our neck joint hole. And we're going to take the head, the shaft, and we're going to simply do this. If that's not sticking out enough, you can just push on that head. It won't hurt it. So see what we've got there? Got the shaft sticking out. We're going to put on the flat washer, plastic washer. And this is the locking one. You can see it's a slightly different shape. It goes on like that, flat side to flat side. Now I even have to stand up to push this on. We're going to push it right down. You'll hear a snap, which locks it. It's actually safe for children because they're, they're locked on so well, like that. And then I can turn it right around, and voila! You have a head joint, head jointed onto the, the body. Isn't that nice?